Hi, this is a review of the SparkFun uh, third hand. Um, I've seen this thing on SparkFun ever since they uh, first brought it out in their new products like a year or two ago, and I've always wanted one. So I'm special on Cyber Monday, so I finally uh, bought one. Um, and I'm going to try it out and show people what it does. Probably not the first review of this on YouTube, but uh, we'll see. So a third hand is a device that you use to... Uh, well, it function as a third hand when you're working. So let me uh, illustrate with the old uh, Radio Shack one. I had bought this probably 20 years ago. You know, if you want to solder something, you know, you can clip it in here, and then you could, you know, clip another wire in this side, hold the wires together, and reach in with your soldering iron and solder it. Uh, it's very handy because, you know, you can't hold both things while holding a soldering gun at the same time, so you get this, and you can... You know, position things around however you want them. Um, the old Radio Shack third hand, you know, for, for as cheap a thing as it is, it really works pretty well. It's, you know, got a lot of degrees of freedom in it. Um, it's got this rotational ability. It's nice. You know, you can move this up and down. It's got these little screw clamps to adjust the tightness on things. Um... You know, it's not real big, though. You know, if thing you're working on can only be about as big as fits in there, and it's it's not real heavy either. Um, so SparkFun came out with uh, this thing, which is kind of cool. You know, it's nice, big, long arms that you know you work on something huge if you wanted to. Um, the 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 primary criticism it should be obvious looking at it. Is these teeny tiny alligator clips that they put on here. I mean, you know, what were they thinking? Those things are ridiculously small. You know, look at the the size of the Radio Shack ones in comparison. Um, can't imagine why they did that. That's, that's weird. It must have just been the supply of things they could get with the, the thread that went on there. Um, the other problem with it is... Uh, you know, whereas this one has relatively fluid motion, you know, I'm easily able to move it exactly where I want, very precisely. You know, this one being plastic, you kind of got to put a certain amount of force there to overcome the, you know, the rotational uh, tension on the plastic. And you, you sometimes you get these kind of, big steps, bigger steps than you'd want. You know, you want to move it just a little bit and you end up moving it a lot, which is kind of unfortunate. So I think both tools have some purpose. Um, you do have to put this thing together. Um, it comes with this metal plate and then it comes with the two tubes and then it comes with the alligator clips. To do that, you've got to pop these, uh, these yellow things off and that's, uh, that's actually harder than it sounds um, because it's, it's on there really tight. You know, if you try to, to bend it, it, there I go, I got it. But, you know, people online recommend, uh, they recommend uh, soaking it in hot water um, to get it off easier. Now, you can, uh, you can push it back on by hand or if you happen to have a, uh, a lock line pliers, like this one, you can um, snap it right on like that. Uh, so this stuff here is commonly called uh, lock line. It's used. Uh, it's used in uh, like milling machines and stuff. People run solvent or uh, oil or something through it, and it squirts out and squirts on your part. Uh, this is not name brand lock line. It's. Uh, some kind of off brand, so I did. Uh, I do have some name brand lock line, slightly different color, um, and it actually has you know, you probably can't see it on there, but lock line is actually embossed into the uh, into the plastic on this, whereas this this one here has no um, has no uh, has no logo embossed into it. You know, I think the uh, name brand does seem to have a little bit smoother motion. I think I might like it better. You know, this feels a little bit more cheapish and plasticky. Um, you can buy yourself a starter uh, lock line set on eBay. 
or on Amazon. You know, I've got one here that's got all kinds of fittings and because I planned on making one of these myself originally, but then you know, it was easier just to buy the Spark Fun one. Uh, so one of the, I guess I had two main, well, three criticisms about this. One was uh, the very tiny uh, alligator clips. The other was that the motion is some sometimes, you know, stiffer than I'd like. The other is there's rotational ability on this clip is not... It's not really that good. I mean, I'm kind of rotating it, but I'm kind of spinning the screw inside of the thing. And I mean, sometimes it works better. Like this one is, this one I can't rotate at all. And you know, the Radio Shack one, I could rotate very easily and precisely because you know you spend a lot of time rotating these, and if you can't rotate them, you know you. Try to twist the whole thing. It's kind of a pain in the butt. So uh, I did decide to go and uh, mod it. You know, I like modifying things. So I got some decent alligator clips, some uh, some of these lock line uh, nozzle fittings, and uh, some some 632 screws and uh, nylock nuts. And I built something here that I can, you know, turn reasonably well. So I'm going to try swapping that out at some point. And uh, I think that's what Spark Fun should have kind of done in the first place. But, you know, I, I do think you're getting a tremendous value for this thing for, you know, like 20 to $30. You know, you're getting the tube and the alligator clips and the screw and, you know, this great big heavy aluminum uh, machine plate. And it's all threaded in there and it's got countersunk holes to bound it down. To bolt it down to your bench if you want. Came with rubber bumpers. Uh, they even gave uh, a little package. I think I've lost it. A little package of uh, there it is. Some heat shrink tubing that you could put on your alligator clips so they're not sharp. So I think you know even if you do have to modify it a little bit yourself to put the decent size alligator clips on, I think it's still. I think there's still value in there because you know. Machining this aluminum block out yourself is going to take some time and some money to do that right. I don't know how else you'd do it. Okay, my uh, my plan to modify this thing came up a little bit short because uh, the lock line and the imitation lock line are slightly different diameter. So, you know, this uh, fitting that came with the Spark Fun kit fits the Spark Fun tube pretty tight. Lock line fitting doesn't fit so tight, and similarly, the lock line uh, tube doesn't really hook up to the uh, Spark Fun threaded fitting down there. So, anyone watching the videos probably knows I can't leave anything alone, so uh, uh, it shouldn't be a surprise that I have uh, hacked the uh, third hand to make it uh, different. Um, it originally started with me just wanting to uh, put on these bigger alligator clips of mine. But what I learned was that this orange piece from the real uh, name brand lock line doesn't fit with this off brand lock line. The balls and the sockets in these things are just ever so different that they don't, they don't go together. So that led me to, uh, to use, decide to use the uh, real name brand lock line. Uh, and then I went to uh, connect it up to the plate and I realized that these holes, you know, you might look at this and say, well that looks like quarter inch uh, NPT pipe thread, but it's not. It's, uh, according to the spec sheet, it's uh, metric 14 by 1.25 thread. So, well that was unfortunate. Um, yeah, so I got out a tap and die and I retapped two of the holes so that I can put a quarter NPT fitting in it. Then I took my uh, lock line base adapters and I just uh, glued um, JB welded a quarter inch fitting in the bottom of them. I can now uh, put these in like so. I'll probably tighten them down with a wrench at some point. A modified third hand with the real lock line 
Um, it does it does move a little bit smoother. You know, I'm able to get finer uh, movements on here with a little less force than the uh, the Spark Fun line did. I think you know it's kind of hard to tell, but the nice thing is the way I did this, my alligator clips do now turn. It's plenty big. I left these uh, tapped the original way so I could screw the uh, Spark Fun arms in if I want and have a uh, have a four-armed one. Uh, I think this thing will be handy addition to the bench. Um, you know, even though I did uh, modify it with uh, mostly my own stuff, I, I think the value is there in the base plate alone. Um, you know, it's nicely sized. Thank you for watching my video. Please visit my website at www.smbaker.com for more electronics projects and sand rail stuff. Bye.